Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today we are going to be starting my spring propagations and I'm so excited. I have been planning, well not planning, but I have been taking mental notes of plants that I've been wanting to propagate uh, with the purpose of creating a fuller pot of that plant. So I've made a list. Um, I wanted to wait until closer to the spring for most of these just for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, I wanted to kind of let those plants grow out as much as possible um, to make it, I don't know, a little easier to take propagations from it because some of them were quite small. Um, and also it's just propagating just goes a little bit more smoothly um, once the weather is a little bit warmer. So we're actually at the point in the year finally where we are getting closer to spring. The days are getting longer again. We've made it over that winter solstice hump and I'm ready to start taking some cuttings. Yeah, my plants are just gonna have a little bit of an easier time um, rooting and growing out as we approach the spring. So that's why we are starting this today. It's still only January, but we're getting head start. Um, so I do have a list uh, of plants that I definitely want to take cuttings from. So I will show you guys who we are gonna be chopping up today. Okay, so on my list, we have basically all of my string ofs, my regular string of hearts, uh, silver, silver glory string of hearts, the variegated one, um, this is string of needles I really want to propagate, as well as my string of spades. Um, and I think that I'm going to propagate all of these in water. That's, well, that's not, I was going to say that's the only way I've propagated these. Um, I have done the sphagnum moss method, like the butterfly method, but I just find that that takes forever and I would just rather do a couple of strands in water. So that's the method that I am going to be doing. These ones I have never propagated, so I'm assuming it will, you know, be the same as the string of hearts, but... I guess we'll find out. Um, my trailing jade. This is quite the situation right now, you guys. This plant, I'm not sure what's going on with it. It looks horrible. It's just been slowly declining for several weeks now. I think it might be rotting, but basically the whole plant is trash. Um, so we need to rescue a bunch of vines. I've already rescued a couple and started some propagations, but we're going to be cutting it up and saving as much as we can today. Um, and I will talk about this more later because I do have a couple to show you and talk about. Um, Hoya obovada, we are going to completely chop up, which I'm very excited about. It's like one long vine right now. I've never propagated this plant before, so that'll be fun. I'm thinking perlite, maybe sphagnum, we'll see. Um, and then philodendron micans, I want to take a cutting from because if you watched my plant goals video, I do want to create a larger pot of that this year. So I'm going to do that. Same with Greta, want to create a larger pot of her. So I'm going to take a couple of cuttings. And then um, lastly, I do want to start my philodendron subhastatum over. I have this thing where I just, once a plant grows out of it, I completely chop it up, root them, and then pot it up with a moss pole. So that's basically the plan that I'm going to be doing this for this philodendron. So that's going to be planned for today. I love propagating. It's so fun. I've really been looking forward to this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy it too. And let's just get started. Okay, so here we are. I've cleared off my desk so we have a place to work and I've grabbed my first plant. I did want to say that all of my plants that I'm going to be taking cuttings from have been watered in the last couple of days. You typically don't want to take cuttings from thirsty plants. I really try to avoid that. Um, they're just going to have a much better time rooting and a much higher chance of survival if they are well hydrated. Um, so the first one that we are going to be taking cuttings of is my regular string of hearts. Now this plant is so long, you guys. Like, she's really, really long. Um, and that's the main reason that I'm going to be propagating this plant, actually. Uh, I don't really have a plan as to, like, this plant's just a mess, kind of. <laughs> Not kind of, it's quite a mess. Um, ever since I moved, like, I just, when I was moving, I just kind of threw the vines on top and now they're just all tangled and I, I've i tried to untangle them, but it's just way too much. So I they just stay up there like that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, great. Um, so I don't really know, like, I don't know what my plan is, um, whether I want to start a new pot of this or maybe I should just like, 
put a movie on or something and untangle this for a couple of hours. Do you guys think I should try that? I don't know. I feel like I'll lose some leaves in the process, but maybe it would be worth it to do it. Um, regardless, the top is very sparse when this like clump isn't, oh man, I'm making it worse, you guys. I'm making it way worse. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, the top is very sparse when the clump isn't on there. Um, so, I could untangle this and then once the cuttings are rooted, add them back in the top and kind of fill this plant out again. I could start another plant. Um, I don't know, give me your input on what I should do. Um, but I do know that we are going to be taking cuttings regardless because this plant is almost touching the floor from where it hangs. Um, so it just needs a trim either way. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do that now. Let's get sorted back out. Okay, this is just, <laughs> it's madness. Should I just cut the whole thing up and just start it over? Why is that like my thing, just to entirely chop plants up? Well, I for sure know I'm gonna be cutting from these bottom vines at least, so let's start there. Okay, I have my clean shears. I have sanitized them with isopropyl alcohol before starting, and I'm just going to Let's just go ahead and cut. Uh, okay, I've cut three vines. Oh, that one's kind of long. I'm gonna have to cut it again. Okay, so I've cut these three vines and then what I'm gonna do, so it's gonna root from this end and I'm just gonna remove the leaves. Oh, these are such nice big leaves too. Look at those, juicy, but we have to cut them off. But well, we don't have to, but they're just gonna like rot anyways because the roots are gonna come from that node there. So it's gonna be in water. Um. Move that over. Okay, so one of these vines is quite long, so I am going to cut it again. Um. I'm going to cut it yeah, right here. And then there's already an, a leafless node there. So we don't have to cut any leaves off of this one. So we have four strands there. Make this a little bit shorter. These leaves are so, oh, I cannot with how nice these leaves are on this string of hearts. These are literally perfect string of heart leaves. Like I wish that you guys could see these in person. They're like nice and succulent, they're big. Oh, I love them. Oh, there's more pretty ones here. Look at those. Cute. I'm not the hugest string of hearts person in the world, but I love getting the big hearts on mine. I just find it so satisfying. And part of the reason I'm not a big string of hearts person is because this is what always happens <laughs> to mine. <laughs> so that's fun. Should I just cut it all up? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm just gonna cut it all up, you guys, and we'll just start it from scratch. I feel like that's easier than detangling it. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Oh boy. I'll probably just fast forward this for you guys because um, I am gonna need to do a little bit of detangling just to get my strands to cut.
Okay, so here are all of our cuttings. Oh, it's so satisfying how they're all laid out nicely like that. Um, I think that I'm gonna cut them in half, these really long ones especially. Um, this is actually not like as many cuttings as I thought there was gonna be, so I'm kind of glad I chopped it up. I'm wondering if anything will happen if I just leave these nodes that are left in here, if I like pin them down, would they ever sprout leaves and grow? I'm not sure. I've only ever propagated them like this with the leaves still on. Um, but I am curious to see, like I'll probably keep it and see if anything happens. Um, and then for these random cuttings over here, I think I'm going to throw these in my perlite prop box because I've never propagated string of hearts that way. And of course I'm just curious. So these are probably going to be like a, um, an experiment. Okay, so I'm going to use this propagation station. I think if I can fit them all in, um, yeah, okay. I just like how narrow these tubes are to kind of keep the like very thin vines in place. So probably do a little group of them in each. You see what I mean? They just kind of stay secure when it's a smaller vial like that. So cute! Just all full of string of hearts. Love that. Okay, the only thing I need to do now is find a place to hang this. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. Okay, I'm just gonna water them with this little squeeze bottle. Um, this has very diluted um, fertilizer and Super Thrive water in it. It looks pretty good, I'm happy with it. I know it's kind of crooked, but whatever, I honestly don't care. Um, yeah, so it's going to get light from my mother um, plant spectrum grow light here and I'm going to keep an eye on the water levels and the root development and hopefully I can pot those all up within the next couple of months and then the plant will be ready for spring and can grow. Oh yeah, we have to put these guys in my perlite box. Let's go do that right now. I guess I'll put it in this one. So I'm just going to lay them down, I guess. I don't know. All right, we'll see if they do anything in here. Okay, so the rest shouldn't take so long. That first string of hearts ended up being more of a project than I thought we were gonna be doing today. Um, but next we have my string of hearts silver glory edition. She is so pretty, love this one. Um, and we're just gonna be giving her a trim so that I can pot them back into the top to create a fuller pot. So 
I guess I am just, I mean, this is the shortest one, so I'll probably, um, so I'll probably just cut them all across to be the same, roughly the same length. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we have our cuttings, and then this is what's left of her. Ooh, look at that leaf. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the top leaves. This strand is really pretty. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I have underwatered this plant a couple of times recently, so that's why I think I'm getting some small growth on some of the vines. So I'm staying more on top of watering this plant now, but yeah, that definitely has happened a few times um, in the fall and winter. All right, so I'm gonna throw these ones into this glass vial. This is from one of my modern botanical prop stations. It's a little bigger than I would like for these cuttings, but we'll make it work. Okay, fill this one up now. Okay, so the water is covering all of the nodes, so I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'm gonna pop this on top of my Millsbo Wide under my Plant Spectrum Grow Light. Okay, so next we have just a couple of small ones, so these ones shouldn't take too much time. This is my string of needles, just a little guy. I'll probably just chop off this vine. He's just got two vines, one is shorter, so that one can probably stay. And then my string of spades, this one has actually been growing a lot recently. Like he's quite long now, um, considering this just started off as a very small, a couple of very small cuttings. Okay, um, let's start with the string of needles. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna chop uh, this one right here here remove those leaves just the exact same that's going to be our one cutting from that guy that's what he looks like after his chop this one's so hard to see on camera because it's just so dainty and then uh, the string of spades so this one's kind of the same situation one vine is shorter so I'm going to do the same thing if I can get this sorted out. Okay, so I am going to chop it right here. Leave these big leaves on. It has a couple of big ones right, right here at the bottom. I can probably put this into two, actually, this cutting that I've taken. Let's do that. I'm going to cut it here. Okay, so I just have these three small cuttings. I think I'm gonna pop them in with my Silver Glory um, in that same vessel. Okay, so here it is um, under the grow light there. We have Silver Glory, String of Needles, String of Spades in there. Um, next to it, you can see these crazy guys here. This is my trailing jade propagation. I guess I can talk about this now because I am going to work with this next. So like I said, my trailing jade is just not doing well, so I did take some propagations. I watched a video and saw uh, someone just soil propagating like this, so that's what I did. I stuck a bunch of cuttings into this pot of soil, and then I also stuck some cuttings into water because I wanted to experiment with both ways of propagation. So the soil ones, I think this, this plant was already pretty dehydrated by the time I did this, so it didn't have like the greatest start. Um, and as you can see, I have had some leaves die, and it just doesn't look great overall. Like, it looks pretty wrinkled. 
Um, however, the water propagations, like the leaves don't look amazing either, but I am getting some roots. If you can see, I'll try to focus. There we go. I am getting some roots and it's only been, it's been less than a week. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I think I'm going to water propagate the rest of the vines because it just seems to be, seems to be going well. So let's go take a look at it. It's in pretty rough shape. I'm just warning you. It's not great. Okay, so this is what is left of my trailing jade, and I noticed a vine on the floor, like it just keeps, it keeps just dropping these vines, and yeah, you can see up here, like this is all um, dead leaves, and it's just like rotting off the stem, so this is all, oh, pff, see, I literally just touched it and it came off. So we need to rescue this. Rescue mission propagation. Okay. I'm basically just going to cut off all of the vines and um, we are going to water propagate them, I think. It still has new little growth on the ends. So I'm thinking that they're going to be okay. Because it's still... It's still really trying, even though the whole thing has just become unwell. I don't know why this happened. I must have overwatered it at one point, like within the past couple months. Really sucks, because I loved how big of a basket this was, but that's fine. We will just start over with another one. Okay, got my shears here. Um, let's start with this. I'm just going to... Oh, it's kind of mushy. I'm just gonna cut until it doesn't feel mushy. So right there feels okay. And then I'm just gonna remove the bottom, the bottom few leaves. You can see these have so many nodes. Like look at all of those nodes. Really great for propagating. Uh, leave it like that, I guess. And then I'm just gonna remove whatever dead leaves are on these guys. Okay, I'll just make a pile, I guess, over here um, with the vines that we have. See, this is all just very, very unwell. I'll be able to save the end, but that's probably about it. Okay, so this is what I removed from the plant. These are all the healthy vines that I'm going to be propagating. There's so many of them. 
Um, and then these are just like leaves that I cut off or pulled off and a couple vines that just didn't look very good. Um, I did grab this one, um, my soil propagation that I did about a week ago. There are some healthy leaves that feel like pretty firm in this pile. So I'm going to try to remove the ones that died off. I think that some of the leaf propagations I put in here were just too dehydrated and they died off. So I'm going to replace those with some of these healthier leaves and... I don't know, we'll see if they root up. Apparently these can propagate by leaf, but yeah, I've never done it before, so we'll see. Okay, so that is what it looks like, replaced with healthy leaves. I'm really curious to see what happens with this. So I will be keeping you guys updated with it. Um, however, just looking at this, I am seeing some new growth that's happening where I cut um, some of these vines when I propagated. So there's a little leaf coming out there and also on this one. So maybe they're rooting up in the soil, um, which is really awesome to see. Oh, there's another dead leaf there gonna go put it back in its spot and then I need to find a vessel or probably multiple <laughs> vessels for all of these cuttings there's so many you guys like there's a big big pile there So they're all filled up with water and I found homes for all of them. So that jar is just gonna sit here on my desk in front of the grow light. And then the second one is under my other grow lights in my bedroom on the shelf there. And the third one is just on my windowsill in the living room. Um, yeah, and then I'll just leave these ones under the grow light right here. Hopefully those all root up and then I can create a larger hanging basket of them again. I really, I can't believe that that happened to that plant. But that's just how it goes sometimes, so at least I can make a little project out of it. So as you can see, we have my Hoya Obovada. Um, this is the one that we are doing next. This is what it looks like. It's just this one vine. It hasn't shot out like any, <laughs> any other vines. I'm gonna be, am I gonna chop this whole thing up? Um, I don't think I'm gonna chop the whole thing up actually, but I think I'm gonna cut right about, uh, here let's just do it let's just do it okay there we go look at this big cutting that we have now i am going to um cut this up into smaller cuttings of course this is what we have left the mother plant so cute oh i love hoya obovada okay um so i have a sphagnum moss propagation box right here that was just empty so i think that oh, is this even gonna fit these are really big leaves we'll try it I'm gonna cut these up and then we'll see if they'll fit into that little prop box. So I'm just going to cut these up into individual little cuttings here. I guess that'll be it. I don't know if they're gonna fit in here. Maybe I can put two of them and then the third I'll put in my perlite box. Big leaves. Just gonna try to cover the stem with the sphagnum as best I can. There we go. There's a third one. Can I fit it? Maybe I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can fit the lid on though. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be okay. They're kind of squished. I'm gonna take this one out. And 
and just keep those two. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep two in there. It's kind of hard to see through this. Um, I used to have my Milano Chrysum propagations in here and they did really well. So I know that the light does get through this lid okay. Um, so this one, I'm just going to pop in my perlite box or should I try water? No, I've got so many things water propagating. Um, I'm gonna put this in my perlite box. Okay, I've stuck it right there. This perlite box looks absurd, I know. And I need to boil um, the perlite because it's getting kind of like minerally and algae. And yeah, this box needs to be refreshed. I refreshed this one and I have a video on that and it looks so good, but yeah, I definitely need to do the same for this one. Anyways, um, this guy's just stuck in there and I'm sure that he will root up well. Okay, so I have Greta here, as you can see, and I also have my philodendron micans. I'm just gonna be taking small cuttings from both of these, so we're just gonna just gonna quickly do them together. Uh, I think I will just cut the micans uh, here, maybe. Yeah, then I have a few to work with. So I'll just cut into single leaf propagations. I'm just gonna discard the vine in the middle. Okay, so, oops. I have these three single leaf propagations. Uh, I'm gonna put these in my perlite box as well because I find philodendron micans kind of tricky to propagate. Um, so I've had good luck in my perlite boxes. That's the route I'm gonna take. Um, Greta, however, is like the easiest plant in the world to propagate. So I'm probably just gonna throw her into water. Um, I was thinking these vines here aren't really doing anything. I, or maybe this one is growing. I think maybe this one is growing. I'm not sure. I've mostly been paying attention to this vine, which I'm going to leave this one on this side. That's where I'm getting a lot of active growth. Um, but I think I'll cut this. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to cut this because I'll be repotting this back in. And then there's just like this random vine. I don't know. Should I cut that off? Sometimes there's just like these random vines coming out and nothing is happening here. And I'm wondering like, can I root that node and will it grow? Maybe I'll try it because I really don't think anything is gonna grow from it in here. I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay. Um, cut that a little lower. All right, so she's pretty much just left with that one vine on that side. And then this, this node, I'll throw into my prop box just to see if anything happens out of curiosity. And then this I'll probably just throw into water, that little cutting with three leaves. Okay, I put the pothos cutting just here beside my bed in those prop stations. It's dark right here right now because my blinds are closed and it's super cloudy. We're supposed to get sun on the weekend, you guys, and I can't wait. I really, really hope that that forecast is true. Uh, yeah, I really need it. And then I just closed this up again. I should have shown you, but um, Philodendron Mykins is now in this perlite prop box. It's the other one, um, different from the last one I showed you. And then I put the Greta cutting in there as well. Okay, had to switch to this view um, so that you can see my Philodendron subhastatum. It's still like too tall for the frame. It goes up. Um, but I am going to be chopping this whole thing up. So let me see if I can back you up so that you can get a better view. That's pretty much the whole thing. Okay. Um, so I guess I'm just going to detach it from here. Oh, a long one. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a bunch of separate um, propagations from it. So, oh, that'll be the top cut. So pretty. Look at the red on the back of that one. 
This is a new leaf that just unfurled not long ago. It doesn't have any red. It's been getting pretty low light during the winter, so that could be why. I don't know if I want to do single leaf or like two for this one, because they're pretty close together. Yeah, I'll do two. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, there we go. This one's just going to be one. I guess this one will be a wet stick. And I'll do another two. And one. Now this quite possibly um, could put out a growth point and grow a new plant. So I'm just going to leave that in there. And then these guys I am going to, I was thinking I would water propagate it. Let me see, I think I only have one vessel left. Wow, I actually fit all of them into this one um, propagation vessel. That's amazing. I'm probably going to squeeze this um, on top of my Millsbow Wide. My Millsbow Wide is just a place where I've been putting a lot of propagations because they do so well under that light. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up and then pop it there. And this is going to go in my prop box. And then we're pretty much done. Okay, so that's where I ended up putting it. It looks pretty cute on there, actually. Kind of complements how there's the more full philodendron brazil over there. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. To be honest with you, I was really hoping to film this video on like a nice sunny day with the spring energy flowing, but I have not seen the sun in probably 10 days now, so I just wanted to get this um, done so that those propagations are going. I feel like I'm always complaining that there's no sun and uh, that I'm not feeling great because of that but that's just like the reality of this time of year for me so yeah if if the energy was a little bit off or a little bit lower than usual then that's why it's just yeah it's been a bit of a tough week a bit of a tough couple weeks for me actually but regardless, um, I really enjoyed doing that. I love taking propagations and even I love even more watching them grow. So I'll definitely be sharing some propagation updates with you all. I hope that you are all doing okay. I know that this time of year is hard for a lot of people, especially if you live in a gloomy place like I do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you like crazy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. I love all your comments. I read every single one and I usually respond as well. All right. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.